Hello everyone, this is English with Vass and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to practice English through a story. This video is divided into four sections. Today's story is A Strange Incident. We'll start by listening to the story at a slow speed. When my children were small, I worked as a cleaner. I cleaned at a big block of offices near my home. It was evening work and so it fitted in well with my husband's job. I never needed childcare. I headed off on foot at 6.30 p.m. three nights a week and worked a couple of hours. I didn't earn a fortune, but it paid for treats for the kids. One night, I was working on the second floor. I was mopping a corridor which had a lot of offices along it. As I progressed along the corridor, I could hear loud shouting coming from the last office, right at the end of the corridor. Then there was a huge crash followed by crying. Somebody might need help, I thought. I knocked at the door, but got no answer. I waited a few seconds and knocked again. Still no answer. I opened the door. A huge clock had fallen off the wall and all the furniture was thrown around the room. However, there was not a soul in that room. I was confused and a bit scared as well. I went to find my manager, who was cleaning on the third floor. She came back down with me. We went into the room, but everything was fine. The clock was back on the wall and the desks and chairs were in the right place. I left my job that night. I still shudder when I think about this more than 10 years later. Now, let's see how much were you able to understand. Try to answer the following questions. Where did Eliza work? What was she doing when she heard the shouting? How long ago did this happen? You can leave your answers in the comments. Now, let's see the explanation of the highlighted vocabulary in the story. To fit in with. If something fits in with other things, it means it goes well with them. For example, this chair doesn't fit in with our furniture. Another example, it's a very nice sofa, but it doesn't fit in with the rest of the room. Child care means the care of children, especially as a service while parents are working. For example, his first priority is finding child care so he can get a job. Another example, the company provides child care for working parents. Corridor a corridor is a long passage in a building or train, especially with rooms on either side. For example, her office is at the end of the corridor. Another example, he could hear the clack of high heels walking past in the corridor. To shudder 
means to shake suddenly with very small movements because of a very unpleasant thought or feeling. For example, the sight of so much blood made him shudder. Another example, I still shudder when I think of the risks we took. Now, you will listen to the story at a normal speed so that you can test your level of listening comprehension. When my children were small, I worked as a cleaner. I cleaned at a big block of offices near my home. It was evening work and so it fitted in well with my husband's job. I never needed childcare. I headed off on foot at 6.30 p.m. three nights a week and worked a couple of hours. I didn't earn a fortune, but it paid for treats for the kids. One night, I was working on the second floor. I was mopping a corridor, which had a lot of offices along it. As I progressed along the corridor, I could hear loud shouting coming from the last office, right at the end of the corridor. Then there was a huge crash, followed by crying. Somebody might need help, I thought. I knocked at the door, but got no answer. I waited a few seconds and knocked again. Still no answer. I opened the door. A huge clock had fallen off the wall and all the furniture was thrown around the room. However, there was not a soul in that room. I was confused and a bit scared as well. I went to find my manager, who was cleaning on the third floor. She came back down with me. We went into the room, but everything was fine. The clock was back on the wall and the desks and chairs were in the right place. I left my job that night. I still shudder when I think about this, more than 10 years later. Now, let's see the answers to the questions I asked you at the beginning of the video. First question was, where did Eliza work? And the answer is, she worked at a big block of offices. Second question was, what was she doing when she heard the shouting? And the answer is, she was mopping the second floor's corridor. And the last question was, how long ago did this happen? And the answer is, this incident happened more than 10 years ago. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.